Hello and welcome to Greedfall. Currently we are looking for a cabin boy. Let's try to sneak around. We don't want them to see us immediately. Nothing but barrels here. Lady Desade, what are you doing here? I have come looking for your son. The Noughts are worried about his disappearance. Uh, those Noughts took him from us, but now we've got him back. And he'll be staying with us. Would you be so kind as to hear what I have to say, Sir Fontaine? Okay, let's use Charisma. We have the cape, might as well use it, right? Let's make him think like it's his idea. You've taken your son against his will and have locked him up like merchandise in a warehouse. Is that what you call being a good father? If I hadn't taken him back, he would have been hauled off on one of the cursed ships. If that's what he wants, then why would you want to stop him? For his mother. She misses him so. But in the end, you may be right. My boy has changed. He hasn't spoken a word to me since we've been in this precarious predicament. Very well. Take the key and take him away. Cursed be the day I delivered my son unto the noughts. All children leave the nest one day or another, sir. Farewell. I do like his moustache. It looks so epic. Anyway, this was easy. Thanks to our charisma level, we didn't have to fight here. Right, is there anything else I can gather? Doesn't seem like it. For a moment there, I got stuck on some invisible wall. Okay, this is a back entrance, which means that if I had jumped over the fence here, I would have been able to kill this too and proceeded down there. Or I could have snuck in. This would have worked as well. So it's not possible just now. I'm sorry. Well, whatever. Lockpick. Oh, I'm taking your appear, by the way. Here, this one's smaller, therefore it's better. Congrats. Don't even remember where I got this from. It requires agility 1. Interesting. Okay. Who are you? My name is Desarde. I'm Legate of the Congregation. Your captain has sent me to find you. And were you able to convince my... my father to allow me to go free? Yes. Even if I had to bend his arm a little. That doesn't surprise me. He seemed to have no intention of changing his mind. I feel more sorry for my mother. She seems so sweet and happy to see me. You don't seem to be all that close to your parents. I hadn't seen them since I was five years old. I barely remember them. They find me, capture me and lock me up in this warehouse. Hard to grow close after all that. My family is the noughts. I am sorry for my parents. But that is the way of it now. Can I go home? Yes. You should still go and say farewell to your mother. Then find your way to your ship. I will see you there. Okay, so he had green eyes and his father's fair skin. Quite exotic, this one fella. I wish he had his father's moustache, though. That would have been great. Okay. He barely had any hair whatsoever. So, I'm gonna go to the merchant, see if there's any rubies to be found there. Or anything at all that I want to purchase. You'll find all you need! Welcome! Have you seen anything to your liking? Indeed.
Okay. Second in command gloves. These look cool. These are the same gloves without this little protector there. How about the boots? Nice. Well, we're not gonna use any of these. Right, rubies. None. That's... That's regrettable. Let's inform the captain of our success and continue on. Right, the note warehouses, we're gonna go there in a moment. Now, there's something I forgot. I need to recycle some of the things in my inventory. We're gonna go back after we speak with you. Madam, are you ready? Can we weigh anchor? We should be able to set sail with the tide, as agreed upon. My cabin boy, Jonas, is back on ship. I have you to thank, I imagine. You do. It's a rather sad affair, and though solved, leaves a broken family behind. All we can do is plot a course. No one tells the wind what to do. I do thank you. I didn't think you'd go to so much trouble for a cabin boy. Your actions bring you honor. Well, the Nords like me. Thus far, they are the best faction, so... Be back soon, Captain. Alrighty then. Let's go recycle some stuff. Oh, so this chest there is glowing. How did I miss you? I don't know. I don't see anything else that I can loot. Spoke a little bit too quickly. Yes, I can't loot the chest there, but I can loot this little box here. Pine Risen and Houghton. Madam, I'm sorry. I'm afraid that I won't make for good company. Sure you will. Don't sell yourself short. Okay, which one should I recycle? Let's start with you. Six letter. We got five of it. Good. Four. Okay. Sailor's coat. I might use you later. Recycle you. Pure iron ore, crude iron ore, and some leather. Okay, not bad. Let's recycle the gloves here. They are not that great. You need one endurance to wear these. Interesting. Okay, let's recycle you, refined ore, and some leather. And the soldier's boots. The quality is kind of worse. But everything else seems to be better. No, the elemental resistance is better on the other one. So you guys are going to be recycled. Fury Potion. Well, we're gonna take a look at that in a moment, but first... Um, map. Thank you. Go here. We really have things to do. So let's go do them. Captain? Milady? We were given orders to wait here with the merchandise. You're going to have to wait. We need to find a way to clear the access to the warehouse. That shouldn't be that difficult now, should it? Zones controlled by other factions. This zone is under control of another faction than yours. Certain places are forbidden for you. A costume will allow you to trick the guards. You can also try stout approach, but if the guard spots you, it will result in violent response and damage to your reputation with the faction. Do you 
you have any idea how to get in there without being noticed? Let's take a look around the building. We might find a less conspicuous entrance. Okay, that sounds easy. If you wore a Nort uniform and you were able to keep your mark hidden from them, they might let us in. Unless we just offered them a drink. These sailors rarely refuse what. Okay, now there is a potion that will allow me to. No, not a balance potion. Can you display this for now? Increases balance for long duration. Magic potion, major magic potion, haste potion. Increases your stoutness for a long duration. 60 seconds. It's not that long, but let's see where this is headed. If we drop a little soporific in their glasses, the way will be clear. I'll just need to find the proper ingredients, but it's doable. Where is the manifest to be found? I've already been to the Port Authority. They keep the official documents upstairs. Okay, so that is good. They don't actually change your reputation if you stab them. Only if they see you, I guess. I honestly can't say if that actually is helping or not. Poison or chemical mix. I definitely need some science if I'm going to create more of these potions, and I do like that I'm glowing in both red and blue. Are there any more stealthy codes than those two? Okay, we have a sailor's coat. We have three of them now. We could probably use them to sneak around a little bit easier. A worn guard's tublet? Okay. And the hammer. Let's give the hammer to our soldier guy. Um, okay. General. It doesn't say anything about that. So I just need to know the faction's insignia. Nothing else is gonna help. Oh, so you do have hands. Let's use them. Can I have this? I like the boots. 33, a little bit better. And they can be upgraded. Something for the neck, doesn't seem like I need it, but I was going to change the hammer. The fury generation goes up, the rest goes down, so the hammer is definitely worse. Right, stealth. Is that the manifest? Here is the ship's manifest. We only need to add our merchandise to the list. Go ahead. There we go. What else do I need to do? Clear out the warehouse guards, prepare drinks, lest with something. Go see the heretics in their hideout. Okay. Let's put on one of those sailor's coats. As fortune would have it, they did tell me that I now look like a node. I am not sure if I pick a lock, if they're gonna notice me, if they see it. Some bullets, a ring. Anything else I need to steal, I mean to um, liberate from these thieves. Sure. Okay, open the door. We can speak with those guys. Okay, we can climb this letter. 
There is a box here. Gold coins, six of them. Not bad. Now, for the sake of experimentation, I'm gonna climb up there. Don't you don't mind. Okay, can I assassinate you? Doesn't seem like I can. Okay, guys. I'm carrying too much. Well, obviously I need to do something about all the weight. Priest gloves and Vicar's ring. First the guards, then the heretics. Hello? What can I do for you? We're your replacements. You're dismissed. Finally! We were starting to grow moss. Courage, me hearties. The path is clear. We should notify the men. They need all the time they can get. Okay, some ammo, some stuff. Let's go and see if there is anything up there I can use. There is supposed to be a chest there, I bet. Okay, some loot. Not bad. Oh, that's nice. It has a roof that has holes, so if it rains, it's gonna be terrible. I'm not sure how the weather here works, so I'm going to assume they know what they are doing. Alchemical preparation and the gold coins, okay. So what did we find, actually? Alsad's sturdy captain. That armor is magnificent. Okay, let's go recycle some stuff, then we'll return and deal with the heretics. And on our way, we're gonna speak with the people here and tell them that they can do whatever they want. Well now, can we get going? The way is clear. It's time to get going. Do your best to be quick and quiet about it. You won't have much time to move at all. Don't you be worrying now. We're off. The warehouse is at the end to the right there. You can't miss it. Move out. Quick steps. The coin guard liked me a little bit. So am I still suspicious with everyone? Just asking. Well... The Congregation of Merchant likes me, Kurt is suspicious, and Constantine as well. Again, I like the notes more than the rest of them. Their faction seems to be the best one, but then again it's so early on I can't say. Maybe they'll do something to annoy me personally. I don't tolerate such behavior. And also, I do like the captain there. He seems like a nice fellow. Okay, if I recycle you, what can you give me? Crude oil... Oh, obsidian. Okay. What if I recycle you? Obsidian as well. And you? No, no, not upgrade. Recycle. Let's start with you. I can't recycle this one. 
Hmm. Okay, how about you? None of these things are gonna give me a ruby. Okay, re let's recycle you first. And you as well. Unless this time you gave me a refined ore. So I guess I should be grateful. Second in command. This will give you refined ore. These boots are actually kind of cool. They do give you magical resistance and can be upgraded. Soldier's boots. Let's say we want to recycle you. Okay. Well, if we are gonna use the boots, I'm gonna sh I'm gonna make sure it's these ones. What about you, sailor's boots? Quality seventeen. What a terrible quality boots. Keep these ones. Ah, so if we recycle this, it can give us some materials. The lock pouch, we, have, we do have plenty of these. Hmm. Okay. So, let's recycle these two gloves, these two pairs of gloves. Crude iron ore. Also that. It's, in, it's kind of ironic, honestly. These gloves, they do look nice, but they are worse than the rest of the gloves. Well, this armor here is better than any other armor we have currently. So, let's... Recycle you. There needs to be a quick button for that advanced view. I mean, there might be. Priest's gloves. If I recycle those, will you give me a ruby? No. Sailor's gloves. Okay. Crude iron. They won't help. I can't recycle potions, which is kind of regrettable. Actually, these are the potions I can craft. We require science 2 for some of these. Haze potion, what do you need? Science 1. Enontus Hispadius. An old rusted saber. Yes, I know, I'm disguised as a node. Wait, we already did this mission, didn't we? Ah, your boots! Welcome! It's such a pleasure to see you again. Have you seen anything to your liking? What might I help you with? Okay, let's purchase stuff. None of these actually works for me. Okay, say that we have some rings we want to purchase. Doesn't say what I can recycle them for. I do have plenty of gold. Well, I do have enough to purchase one good item. Dragon Barat Raisin. Well, not bad. Say, do you have any helmets for this guy? Alchemist's cap. Farmer's hat. Beret. Thank you for your visit. See you soon. Right. 
Go and see the heretics in their hideout. Mind as well. Make sure you stay hidden. Okay, 50. Is that the same place? Well, after I'm done with these guys, I'm gonna have to go and check the rest of the warehouses to see if I can do something. Right, we already checked this out. It does seem like a place you'd hide a chest, isn't it? These must be the heretics. Let's talk to them. Who... Who is there? May the Illuminated save us. Did the smuggler send you? The man to which you are referring was arrested and thrown into prison. But reveal to me your hiding place. Oh, the traitor! Have you come to deliver us to the Inquisition then? Please, please, have pity on our souls. We have committed no crime. We are not heretics. We are nothing more than historians. In that case, why is the ambassador of Teleme so concerned about your teachings? Why is the Inquisition looking for you, and why are you hiding? Our only error was wanting to publish our work. It's true. We presented our research, but it didn't please the censor. And here you have the result. We fled all the way to Serene, thinking we would be safe. But the Inquisition wants to silence us so badly that they followed us here. Okay, then. Tell me about your research. Tell me more about your research. What about it is so horrifying that it will provoke such a fuss? Our work concerned the teachings of St. Lucius. The disciple of St. Matthias. The one who returned to Teleme after traveling with his master. The very same. His writing was carefully preserved, but never seriously studied. With the discovery of Tirfredi, we thought it crucial to take a look at the original text. We wanted to verify if this island could have been the faraway place that he spoke of. The Eden of St. Matthias. And? What did you find? Teofredi is without any doubt the land that our St. Matthias and his disciples went to. But the text that we discovered was radically different from what we expected to find. In the original text, St. Lucius doesn't speak of an Eden of the Paradise of the Illuminated, he speaks of a voice that came from the depths of the Earth, which convinced St. Matthias to stay there. It was written in black and white, and there is no doubt about it. The original was written in Lucius's own hand. I understand now what that text has cost you. This voice from the depths sounds more the power of a demon than a saint. The sacred texts are always difficult to interpret, but what is written, is written. So, they want to punish you for speaking the truth. You do realize you're going to cause a division in religion, which will inevitably lead to a civil war within your own empire. So what is your escape plan? Who were you hoping would give you asylum? We were hoping to reach al Saad. The Inquisition won't chase us into the den of their enemies. Our research won't interest the Bridge Alliance, or at least I doubt it. But at least we'll be safe. By entering al Saad as clandestines, you risk being taken for spies. That would be better than being burned at the stake. Okay then. So, is there a possibility of making an agreement with the Talaymi? Did you try speaking with the censors? You could. Forget what you have discovered, perhaps? Oh, we have signed already an abjugation stating that we misunderstood the sacred texts of St. Lucius. We were even ready to say that we had never seen the true text, or anything else that would have pleased them. It served no purpose. It's our lives they are after. I see. Well... You have no other choice but to run and seek refuge in enemy territories. I beg of you, please do not deliver us to them. Let us continue on this path. 
On one hand, these guys are clearly liars. On the other, I honestly don't care about the religions aspect. So what to do? We can speak with the Bridge Alliance on their behalf or proceed with their arrest. Let them be on their way. That sounds like a terrible idea. The neutral option is never the one I choose. Hmm. Well, I'd say we should proceed with their arrest. The Inquisition will have their heads. I am sorry for you, but I must arrest you and hand you over to the Ambassador of Teleme. We might be two poor historians, but we will not surrender ourselves to the fire without a fight. To my help! And death to the others! Understand them. Better to die weapon in hand than on a flaming pyre. Now let's go and inform the Cardinal that their heretics are dead. In a moment. Nicked Claymore. Haven't seen this before. Let's take a look. So if I give you this blade instead of this huge hammer. The hammer seems way better, in fact, this blade alone seems better than this one. The quality is better, definitely, but I have no idea what quality means. I do wish I could have this guy's armor. It looks pretty nice. Not for myself, mind you, I was gonna give it to my warrior bodyguard. Okay, loot. I can't exit through there. Let's go speak with the Inquisition. Are you going to teleport us? Yes. Ah, sir. We wish to speak. Good day, Excellency. Lady de Sade. To what do I owe the pleasure? Let's report the death of those heretics. I was able to find the heretics you seek. Alas, they preferred death to capture. What a pity. But that hardly surprises me. What have you done with their bodies, my daughter? I left them in the Nort warehouses. I'm certain they would be more than happy to return them to you. Very well. Very well. You have done a great favor to our nation, and we shall not forget it. And I would appreciate it if you would accept this modest gift as thanks. Reputation, a reputation with the Thalami has been gained. I'm gonna leave. I must be going. Farewell, Excellency. May the light guide you, Dasade. Level 4, eh? So... What should we gain? We can gain an attribute, which will give us one accuracy for armor damage, or... This thing. Well, let's go with you. We want that agility, so we can use that fancy rapier. And also... Let's upgrade you. And you. And we have one more point. There you go. Armor damage. That will help us significantly when we fight armored foes. 54. Almost 300 physical damage. Now, this will destroy armor. Cool. Okay, what does that do? The Great Departure. We have gained no embroidered doublet, okay. Ah, that's find Constantine's clothes. I thought it's a reward of some kind. My mistake. Diary pages, we've seen these. 
obsidian, pure iron ore. Ew. I like that they actually have pictures for these things and they tell you where you can find them. Cyrene. The Cardinal, we spoke about him. The Princess, Constantine Diorsa or Say. Again, purple really does fit him, doesn't it? Our chemical research book. These pages are covered in a small, almost illegible handwriting. I wish you can actually train in those skills, that would have helped. Cyrene is the biggest city of the merchant conglomeration. Yes, I know how to spell congregation, but whatever. And one of the most important ports on the continent. It is a very old city. The sea trade has long made rich, but it is also the ultimate diplomatic city thanks to the neutrality of the congregation. You can find everything you can imagine here. People from all over the world come together, and its markets are full of exotic goods. Well, I couldn't find any rubies, but okay. For over a century, Cyrene's splendor rated, uh, radiated, attracting the best artisans and philosophers of the time. Despite the appearance of the Malancor, but since a little over 20 years, the deterioration of the congregation's relations with the Nauts and the aggravated epidemic have drastically reduced its prestige and population. Today, Cyrene is a city that barely survives by clinging too desperately to its past splendor. So, selling your son to the node may have been a blessing. Had he stayed here, perhaps the disease itself would have claimed him. I mean, I can't help but see the marker here. It just says, you are doomed. One day soon it will spread. And you will go blind. Your fingers will go numb. Your mind will go blank. And finally, death would be a sweet salvation. Such a horrific fate. I can't wait to see the effects. The Prince's Palace, okay. I see dead people. Well, they got in my way. You're drinking? Terrible. Just about to leave, so please be sober. We don't want to have to execute you for incompetence, you know. Right, so I think I'm going to end the episode here. And next episode we're gonna check all the warehouses for goods and kill everyone within so we can gain their uniforms, if you will, and perhaps it will be about time for us to leave this forgotten place. So, thank you all for joining me, and I'm gonna see you all next time. Goodbye.